Okay, I'm not very used to this electronic devices, so hopefully I can finish my presentation. Uh, my name is Görkem Çetin. I work for Institute of Electronics and Cryptology uh, of Turkey. Um, uh, in my talk, I will be speaking about OpenTC project, which is an EU project in sixth frame program. In sixth frame program, it has started two and a half years ago and still ongoing, and there are some outcomes of the project. So, uh, first, what is trusted computing? It's a, it's a technology developed and maintained by Trusted Computing Group. If you want to know more information about Trusted Computing Group, then just go to www.trustedcomputinggroup.com. Uh, with trusted computing, we can say that the computer behaves in a very specific way. And this behavior can be controlled by hardware and software. So if you have, for example, a master key, uh, you can control the hardware. So, but uh, with this master, master key, you can also get your own uh, keys and signatures from the um, device that is um, um, specifi specified by trusted company group. So um, that particular device I will be talking about is TPM, which is called Trusted Platform Module. Um, it has been, I mean, support has been in Linux kernel for quite some time, since 2.6.13. So you will probably have enabled this in your own kernel. But enabling it, it doesn't mean that you have TPM um, applications or you are running an application which is bound to TPM. You have you should enable it by default, because it's not enabled by default in BIOS. Um, so, because uh, the specifications says you to do so. Um, there are some capabilities of a trusted platform module. Uh, these capabilities can be reached by or via dev TPM or some specific applications or APIs. So, um, these are the this is a list of basic capabilities. It has, it has a non-volatile memory for holding your own keys. Um, it has platform configuration registers, 24 registers. There are which is, I mean, each can hold up to 160 bits of data. There's a clock and a counter in it. Uh, it has a number random number generator. It can do asymmetric asymmetric key generation, particularly. RSA, it can also do asymmetric crypto generation. Um, since it is a very uh, small chip, by the definition, by the specification, it is tamper resistant. So by hardware or software methods, you cannot just extract any information or any key or signature out of it. Um, there are specifications freely available in trustedcompanygroup.com. Uh, so if you want to get started with it, you may uh, want to start reading 1,600 page of specifications, but don't do it first. First, I will be telling you some applications that you want to download and try. There are some vendors, namely Infineon, SD, Microelectronics, and Atmel, which produce TPM chips. Um, probably in one of your um, devices, I, I mean laptops or desktops, you have this chip. Just check it in, in BIOS. For example, HP um, sells uh, pre-configured laptops with um, TPM chips on them. So, um, it is, I said, as I said, it's a, it's a very small chip, a, a base, very basic hardware um, installed on your main board. But it is not an enforcer, okay? It is not an active chip, it's a passive chip. It doesn't run any applications, and it doesn't contain any code that you can run, okay? It makes no decisions, it only makes reporting, it only makes some kind of measurement. Um, so there are some uh, very um, um, wrong information on the internet that TPM can um, run some kind of application, it can do some memory curtaining, et cetera, et cetera. These are all wrong. So um, what can we use TPM for? For example, you connect to a bank, okay? The bank sends you a signature, 
and that's, you can measure the signature again against um, the platform co configuration registers that I previously told you. If, for example, these two measurements are the same, then you can say that you, you just trust the bank and then go on with um, loading the web page. Um, since um, TPM is basically a measurement device, um, you can measure the applications, and if the measurement is not equal to a um, good state of the system, then you can say that this application contains some kind of malware, and you can just decide not to run it. Um, a typical trusted boot you can see um, on the screen, uh, it's in fact a, a chain, a trusted chain, and at the top of it you can see the um, chain of root, uh, root of chain, uh, root, root of trust, I'm sorry, and uh, at the top of it, at the root of trust, you, you have a BIOS, okay? The first, of, first of all, the BIOS measures the ROM, and if the um, ROM measurement is equal to a set of previous measurements, then it goes on loading. The same holds with the, for example, the grub loader. The grub also measures the applications, for example, the Linux kernel, and then if it finds that that measurement is equal to a previous measurement, then it can load the kernel. Same can be done for any application. Any application can measure another application, and if the measurement is good, I mean, if you can find a good state of a measurement, then you can go on with loading other applications. So this is called a um, uh, trusted chain. Um, OpenTC project will be demonstrating it is first big um, demo C DVD and live DVD during uh, the Trust 2008 uh, conference in uh, Villach in Austria. So if you want to download the demo DVD, then just click on www.trust2008.eu. It contains some of those applications written here. So if you want to make a um, uh, start with what trusted um, um, OpenTC applications are, just download it and run it. Um, there are not many applications, in fact, regarding trusted computing. I have written some of them here. The ones in bold, in fact, are the ones that you would like to download first and run. Um, for example, Trousers is um, not a full-featured trusted software stick, uh, but it helps you to build your own applications. Uh, if you don't have a TPM on your hardware, then a TPM emulator will help you to emulate a TPM and run TSS, I mean, trousers on it. A trusted grub, in fact, loads your, um, I mean, takes a measurement of your kernel and it measures it uh, to, um, with an, um, I mean, against the previous measured um, uh, kernels. And if, if it finds that uh, the two measurements are the same, then it goes on loading. Okay, uh, Guadec 2008, this is an advertisement, um, just in, insert into my um, uh, presentation. It will be held in Istanbul, Turkey. Uh, if you have seen Istanbul before, you will you know that it's a really wonderful city. It connects east and west. Uh, it will be between 7 and 12th of July, 2008, this time, not later. And the call for papers and public relations work will be on internet at www.guadec.org. Uh, this is the university where the Guadec will take place. It's the uh, University of Bahçeşehir. Uh, it is uh, 50 meters away from the wonderful sea. So these are some photos. A very, an, you know, it's a very animated city. It's full of fun. So. Uh, it's a shame if you miss Guadec 2008. Uh, this is a shot from a Maihane. You step in alive and well, but God, God knows what happens next. 
Okay, my uh, presentation is uh, a part of OpenTC project, and if you want more information about the Open Trusted Computing Project, then just go to www.opentc.net. Okay, thank you very much for listening.